Now a little while back on one of my random weekend videos you might have witnessed my kind of almost breathless excitement as I unboxed the kit to make a T8 CNC machine. I ordered it on Gearbest and I was really excited to receive it. It is probably about the smallest practical CNC mill that you can buy. But I wanted to start small, I just wanted something that could carve little things and cut out little things and maybe engrave little things. And it seemed like a good place to start. I left it aside for about a week and then I set about assembling it and I ran into all kinds of problems. It turns out there aren't any decent instructions for assembling this kit. They just send you the parts and send you a, a, a few links to uh, YouTube videos where people have shown you that they've assembled it. So actually the product itself, there are no step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble it. You're just kind of given the parts and left to figure it out for yourself. Now people better than me at engineering might find that a complete breeze, but for me as a kind of general consumer, with a little bit of practical aptitude, it was a bit too hard to be honest, and, it, and I didn't even want to tempt it in case I just fouled it all up and ended up with an unusable thing that I couldn't return. So I contacted Gearbest Support and after a lengthy conversation where they tried to persuade me that they had provided the instructions for assembly and we went round several cycles of that, I returned the kit to a UK address and they gave me a partial refund. Not a full refund, a partial refund. That's all I'm going to get from them. So a bit disappointed about the whole experience really and I, I'm afraid I can't recommend anybody buy this particular CNC mill unless you really want to challenge, unless you want to challenge which is of the nature of here's a bunch of bits, no instructions on how to put them together, figure it out. Maybe some people are up for that, I'm not. Anyway, so the point is now I am in the market for a CNC mill and I'm thinking maybe I, might, I ought to go and spend a little bit more than I did last time. My budget doesn't stretch to an X-carve or anything like that but it's probably mid-range, so I'm open to any suggestions you guys might have, actually. Has, has anybody got a suggestion as to a mid-range CNC mill that I could buy, assemble, and get some useful results out of? Over to you. Let me know in the comments. Okay, time for a really quick post bag video. This arrived in the post today, and it's from Wish.com, and it cost this much. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it's on the screen here. This is yet another Famiclone little mini game console. It looks a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be based on the picture, but uh, it feels really quite plasticky and lightweight, but we'll see how we get on with it. Now you might be thinking, aren't you bored of buying these game consoles from Wish.com? Well the answer is not quite yet. I'm still trying to find one that has the games on it that I want, which is including Galaxians and Galaga. I believe this one has. So we'll do a quick test of this, but we'll do a full review of it later. So it needs AAA batteries. Let's go get some. Okay, so it wants three AAA batteries in there, which I've got. So let's get those smashed in. Oh. We don't seem to have a volume control on here. Okay. Ah. Okay, we have got some volume levels on there. Okay, different menu screen here. Oh, we've got Galaxian. Hey, let's play Galaxian. Not bad. That's pretty good, and it's a very nice, sharp little screen. Well, the buttons are not the highest of qualities. You can see when I press this one, actually, the other buttons are moving at the same time. So there's a little bit of uh, kind of creep of these buttons. But you know what? It's not bad. And the clarity of the screen 
I am really quite impressed with. Anyway, let's have a look at what other games we've got on here. We've got Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Millipede. Hey, this is pretty good. This has got some good games on there. Gallagher was the other one I was looking for. Quality, I would say, on this console is a little bit on the poor side, really. Well, there we go. Anyway, so not a bad little gadget, I would say. The keyboard's not the best quality. It feels a bit lightweight, to be honest. I got a feeling that there might not actually be very much in here. Maybe we'll do a teardown in another video. But not bad at all for the price, and it's got some great little games on there. That's all we're going to cover on that console for now. And don't forget, if you've got some comments or suggestions on what I should do about a CNC machine, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.